All right, what's up, everybody? So I'm making this video. Basically, what I'm doing is in my app, MBORG, and, I, and this is crazy, too, and I'm just going to give a side note. I couldn't really come up with a name for what MBORG would stand for, but I, I had came up with Nice Business Organization. Then I came up with National Business Organization. But I was really like, I don't know, and I ain't going to catch. Then I was like, Niggas Business Organization. And shit, and then my brother was like, you should, you should, don't know about doing the niggas. And I cut my brother, like, yeah, hey, he's a little too extra. But I was like, trust me, it's going to work. Because everybody going to be like, somebody really named their business that? Like, I got to see this type shit. But anyway, I just keep it NBORG for nice business organization. And also, I keep it as well as national, organ national business organization. But really, the nice... Cause it just it just looked right, especially for my app logo. But anyways, in this video, uh, what I'm gonna talk about is private label car oil and more products too that you see when you go into auto parts stores. And basically, what I'm trying to get everybody to have everybody that's part of the community and what I'm trying to bring awareness to is to get into the mindset of Brace, basically breaking down systems and understanding your surroundings on a business level instead of being a consumer and everything. So if you go into a store, especially if you're in a struggling situation, like I'm in a struggling situation, me and my girl in a struggling situation, trying to figure out our life, we 90, baby, we trying to figure it out. So it's getting out that consumer mindset and knowing that you can start your own shit. That's just simply what it is and i'm starting with this the reason why is because i don't know i'm just trying to uh, i'm trying to trying to bring i'm just trying to bring that thought process into the community just uh, i got two good ideas that i'm doing that i feel is good ideas you know i'm still gonna push the information out and not give up but uh right now i'm working in my app it's called auto parts just uh you know it's a little uh kind of game like interactive community you would tap on the door it goes into a community on my social media platform where to have all the content of stuff that you can do to replicate uh yourself to get into the auto parts industry like that especially like a struggling community a lot of this shit i have to do at this age i feel like it's best and also i feel like a lot of older people don't get this information to younger generation people because they learn it like People feel like, oh, fuck that. I'm not going to give away these gems for free or this easy because I had to learn it the hard way. Or they feel some type of way because they, they wish that they learned the shit younger. Like, imagine, I always look at this shit, and I think of it like this. If you had 18-year-olds or even 16, 17-year-olds who can put and brainstorm the thought process for running a whole fucking business. Like, they should teach this shit in high school, especially because you're finna go into the adult world. But if you have an 18-year-old trial and error going through the whole business process, because even, you know, it'd be late 20-year-olds, 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds, business is trial and error, bro. You don't know everything. It's nothing perfect. You start off immature, and then you get mature. Like, like where I'm at in my mental function... I feel more comfortable hitting up businesses not knowing shit, and it's a lot of businesses that that know that a lot of people don't know shit, and they'll have have it worded like even if it's you know for business startups, for example. Like I used to be scared to hit up companies, especially because I'm not good at typing. Like I don't know how to do all the punctuation and all that shit. I'm being 100, but. I still get my point across when I message these people. Like, I'm the motherfucker with the idea. I'm the motherfucker. And, they, and, and, and the reason why you have to get to a point and not giving it down, because at the end of the day, it's like, they want your money. And at the end of the day, if they know the industry, they're going to help you. So just communicate on whatever level that you communicate on. If you don't got to talk on them proper words and shit, you don't got to do none of that. You ain't got to cuss, though. Just basically, hey, if you don't know something, I'm trying to get into this. I'm trying to learn this. For example, I'm looking into this oil right now. This is my first time, but I know that it's possible, and there's companies out there, excuse me, that'll make it. And I just hit them up like, hey, you know, uh, can I get some information? I want to inquire, like, what's your, you know, your minimum quality amount that you got to order or what's, like, what's the minimum order amount of these say if you you got car oil you finna order how much i gotta order how, i mean how much i gotta order they might say maybe it's 10 or maybe you can order one or one at a time or 50 or maybe 100 maybe 500 or something like that you figure out 
and you just be transparent. You don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to learn. And these motherfuckers that help you out, they got different departments in a business. And I'm going to get into it with these people, but these people, uh, I get on talking all day. Let me get to the point. I'm kind of rusty, but I'm going to get back to making my videos good quality once me and my girl get back to our comfort zone of uh, having our place. We had moved out. We had some issues for my followers that you know, been knowing what's going on. Motherfuckers in the up the rent. We had an issue. Lawyer had to get involved because we had signed a new lease. And the people didn't want to honor the new lease. But the lawyer said they had to. And they done some bogus shit. We were just like, you know what? Like, we'll move out so that way we can save. And you know, looking to get in the house that way. Instead of being in a position of paying, you know, down there 1600 a month for rent. That's just rent. Nigga, rent. And little utility, that ain't talking about all the other shit you gotta survive. Gas, food, phone bills, car insurance, and all that shit. They ain't talking about that, so fuck out of here. You know, that's a lot of money for rent, and each year you don't own nothing. So I had done the math on uh, back at the time for like a manufactured home. At that time, I think it was like 3.7, three years and like seven months, it would have been like. Sixty some thousand dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not good at math. Could be off, or probably a little bit somewhere close. But about three point seven, three years and seven months, we would have been already spent about sixty some thousand on an apartment if we stayed there. That's looking into the future. Not in a position of ownership. There's no value. We can't get no equity out these apartment buildings. The property can. You know, if they doing any type of, and they, they just done some remodeling shit, painting. Well, at that time, reflecting at that time, they had done painting. Uh, that was about it. But, you know, they keep it landscaped and shit. So, anyway, we don't get no benefit in the situation. So, that's what I was looking at. Me and my girl, that's best to, you know, we're going to make a sacrifice like that. And, you know, in a situation where it's rent, you forced to pay that shit. It's better to, you know, go the mortgage route if you go the mortgage route or... And we're talking, I'm talking about manufacturing homes or you go the route of if you got the cash, just pay that shit straight cash. Now, when it comes to manufacturing homes, if it's on lot, if you don't own the land, then you got to pay uh, space rent, which is basically you own the house. Like I'm at a house right now, but the company owns the land that that shit is on. So they're going to charge you space rent. So and they be hustling. Some of them be pricey. Dead ass. Because this is a couple of them like for example, it was a uh, one where space rent was like five hundred, one seven hundred. Then they had some some that was sixteen hundred. It's like y'all tripping. So you gotta find the ones where you know it's beneficial, like five hundred, compared off what your situation is. The best route I ain't gonna cap is just to buy some land. That's what I'm trying to get my girl into. She come around at times, but uh. You know, I don't mind moving to a whole nother city because we'll still be in the state where we at, but we'll just be a far away in a whole nother city. But it's for it's for financial purposes, it's for lifestyle, trying to have a roof over your head. That's the, the cheapest way. Motherfuckers could drive and go visit a uh, family and shit. I, I definitely don't mind, but, you know, buy some land and then maybe finance for getting a manufactured home put on uh, to something. But anyway... I ain't going to get in all into that. That's personal stuff. Anybody want to help, I would throw up my, uh, my cash app. But I want to donate. It's Nice Donations, all right? And the reason why I named it Nice Donations is for my business. Once my business takes off and I'm self-sufficient, that's where I will be blessing people from. People will be getting blessings from Nice Donations. My, my organization... That contributes to where personal goals that me and my girl have for philanthropy purposes as far as helping people give back. She got one of her foundations that uh, she has and that we'll have, we'll have once our businesses are in flourishing uh, positions. But anyways, I'll get into that a little bit later, but let me get to this. I need to focus on this. I apologize. Well, I've been going off to YouTube scene for a long time. So I'm going to read a little bit of this. All right. So this company is called Lube Tech. And what I did, I went to Google. I typed in private label motor oil. You can always find companies that make products, you know. So in the auto parts, you know, industry, you can do that. You can get into that realm, bro. Like, especially, like, if you're in a struggling community, 
Like, and I look at it like growing up in the city where I'm from, people don't even think like this shit. Be grown ass motherfucker. Like when I was 18, 19, I'm grown. You know, I remember around that time, like I had a traffic ticket, uh, fighting this little. I wasn't even fighting the case. I ain't gonna cap. I was dealing with this little motherfucking case because I sold weed. Uh, hold on real quick. All right, so back to Lube Tech. So this company, if you're going to do private label motor oil, it says, when it comes to private label development, Lube Tech is your trusted partner that builds brands. We provide market research, packaging designs, marketing support, training, and testing to build your entire lubricant, lubricant and ancillary... Uh, ancillary whatever that word is ancillary category we're gonna go to learn more but just the whole thing that they help with market research packaging design marketing support they're gonna help you with the marketing on how to market this shit like and i mean if you really think about it like i had to go get some oil for my shit my shit was low hit the dipstick that motherfucker was low i said woo, i'm woo. Thank God I didn't blow this engine out. Went to go get the, the oil. You know, uh, usually a lot of companies will market oil. If you go into like an auto store, they be like, you want to get the filter too? Uh, I'm not, I don't plan on working on this motherfucker. I went to AutoZone. I was like, nah, just give me the oil. Funds low right now. I ain't going to cap. So I was I didn't go get the oil change. I was supposed to go get the oil change at 133,000 miles, 198. My shit on 139. 675 i just put oil in i think at like 139 maybe 400 so i was like way overdue my shit was low but that would be the good part where if it's somebody in the community you come from a community like i don't have a social life like i used to I had to cut everybody off because i didn't dip off the scene but where a homie come in or i'd be like hey bro come bring me some oil by and that's where you would come in if you coming from that situation or even if you're not even coming from like a hood environment like if you just a regular motherfucker you be that friend where motherfuckers can call you and they put money in your pocket simple as that instead of going to one of these big brands they come to you because you got oil you might got a uh, oil filters or if you're gonna really get the skill set you can learn how to do that shit yourself and become a mechanic dead ass like I learned how to change my alternator on my damn car I didn't want to do that shit I was mad to the motherfucker my dad convinced me to do that shit then when I done it I was like, damn, that shit was easier than a motherfucker. Now, like, on my particular car, if I wanted to change alternators on this particular car, I could change them any given time. Radios, I've been knowing how to do radios. I learned that when I was a young nigga. I know how to do them, I would say, professionally now. Like, back then, though, when I was a young nigga, boy, that shit was rigged like a motherfucker. I might have wedged a couple of things. Let me show my shit real quick. Like, this my little radio for my shit. I installed this motherfucker. Now, uh, at UMass Global, better enroll now at UMass. You know, I started this little funky little radio, and uh, it's all a little bit dirty. I ain't gonna cap, you know, I ain't, I ain't the cleanest motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie, but um, you know, I take this off, the whole screen to be clean. It's that little little protective thing, but I ain't gonna take it off. But you know, learn how to do this. I learned how to make install radios from my baby mom brother rigging shit at the at the motherfucking time. He did my first uh radio but we we was young motherfucker but shit wasn't all professionally done and he uh no i installed it on my cousin because once i learned from him i was fucking with the wire i was just fucking with wires back then now you know they they got it more uh mainstream to where they got like the connectors they probably been had connectors and i probably just didn't know but usually they'll sell a like a connector when you install a aftermarket radio that connect to like your old type of um, cars, shit, it, it's some shit, but you can learn how to do that shit, it's easy, bro, and, um, uh, I believe, I might have YouTube some shit, too, on this, if I'm not mistaken, or, uh, no, I think, uh, it was on something, I had to YouTube something, but, got this shit installed, that's a skill that I know how to do, um, you know, uh, taking off these, if I want to change the color, shit of my dash, and all that, that shit, easy for this car, it's easy really for a lot of cars because the parts you more, more likely you just you know do a couple of screws and you just snap them in and shit so just to keep this this video focused on cars you know you can do this shit bro it's, it's very simple and it's it's learnable as learnable as shit also what else did i have to do 
for my car. Um, um, I had to change one of my uh, O2 sensors. The motherfucker engine light came on. And I started smelling some fumes in this motherfucker. I said, ooh, what's going on? I had to run a little cold test on there, O2 sensor. I'm over there like, I'm about to take this motherfucker to the shop. You know, depending, because uh, they had one at the bottom of the car. I was like, yeah, if it's at the bottom, I'm definitely going to have to take this motherfucker to the shop. But it was at the top. Damn, took that motherfucker off, got that motherfucker back up to running. So, you know, some shit is, is doable. Uh, also, too, like my dad, uh, you know, it just depends. Because some shit, I'm just like, we'll slap it in the shop, let the professionals handle it. But then some shit, it might be the experience to to do. Like, right now, I'm just in a state of mind where I, I'm like, I'll just take that motherfucker to the shop. But uh, if you were the type of person, you learn to do that shit yourself. Learn uh get the book for the car. Like, my dad had got me a book. For my motherfucking car, I don't know where the fuck it's at. I lost that motherfucker, but, you know, they got books that give you the whole breakdown on how to change shit, too. So, if a motherfucker want to be a mechanic, being a mechanic ain't, ain't what I want to do. That's how I be feeling like when my dad be coming with this shit. Like, yeah, I'm a car, uh, you, you ain't got to take it, what y'all going to do? Take it down to the shop. I'm trying to figure out what I don't take it to. Uh, you ain't got to do that, you do it yourself. I, be like, I, I got too much shit going on right now. You know, I'm just one of them motherfuckers, like, once I'm in position... Like, a lot of shit, I just pay to get it done. Like, I'm one of them type of motherfuckers. I pay to get it fucking done. Like, that shit with my car, my dad made it sound easier than a motherfucker. And the one, the one part that had stressed me out the most, because I didn't have the tools. And then it's like, this nigga talking like he got the tools, and he got to find the motherfucking tools. So I'm sitting there like, damn, nigga, you ain't, even, you ain't even, where the motherfucking tools at? You talking all this shit, where the tools at? I ain't got the motherfucking tools. You ain't even got the tools ready couple of motherfucking things had the rig, especially on the alternator. I'm just giving a little insight. Changing my alternator, I had to loosen the serpentine belt. Boy, I had some shit rigged up out there to, to, to get this motherfucker. You got to have a uh, some type of bar. I forgot what's the name of it, but a bar didn't hold that motherfucker and shit. And my dad, oh, literally, it really wasn't too much shit he could do. He had a car lifting shit. He got this old ass jack. I'm like, man, if this motherfucking jack give out, it's a wrap. It's a motherfucking rap, but I got the shit done, you know, so, you know, if I was going to be the mechanic route, I'm going to get everything, the good quality motherfucking jack, whole gang of tour boxes and shit, you know, uh, and also, too, I'll throw this in there. If anybody that's a part of the community is willing to become like a mechanic or any type of thing and need an app made, I'll make you a fucking app. Simple as that. Website as well. If anybody want to trial and error and learn how I did, you can go to Wix. Wix is a good website builder. GoDaddy too for a simple layout or even WordPress. Or if you got the money, you hire somebody. You know, you can hire somebody um, and they'll build you your shit too. Or you can, you know, hit me up. Motherfuckers can learn too because I have the shit that I know now. I'm comfortable in my skills. But it was trash when I first started. Like, I look at some of my apps. I got a couple of apps still on Google Play that I haven't took down. And I just look at my, my app layout. Like, you can go type in MBORG on Google and just go to my dashboard of my other apps. I, what is my app? Other one it's like, oh, and you'll see that. That was, like, one of my first apps. And at the time, I thought that shit was good looking. But I look back at it now compared to my detail and how it makes shit look. Compare that shit and, and tell me I've gotten way better. So the whole point is that, motherfucker, you try and you will get better. You will start realizing details and small little shit. And that detail definitely matters. Like, for example, the shit that I'm working on for the app right now, for the auto parts, the, the layout and whatnot, looking at detail, trying to put the sky in the background and all that. I got certain things even throughout my app, uh, little communities like the little apartment where... I'm going to have members a part of those communities, like the skies moving and all type of shit. It's just so much when you pay attention to detail. But, you know, it's just it's just getting over that leap when you first start. When you first start, you damn near an amateur and everything, bro. But you get better, bro. So that's the whole damn thing. It's like, hey, don't, don't feel awkward at all. Just be cool and be happy with your achievements and your creativity. You got to start somewhere. That's just what it is, bro. But anyways, I'm going to end this video and then I'm going to focus more 
on getting into this content and reading from these people as far as this car oil. So I'm out for now. Y'all have a good one.